Mosquitoes play many roles in ecology and society. So they're eaten by other organisms, so they're a source of food, but they're also a major source of disease transmission um, for humans, so they're, they're a major problem. If you're trying to control mosquitoes, think about all the things that it does in its normal life. It, it flies, it breeds, it eats. If you understand how these things work, you can potentially target them for a control measure. So when we set out, we were trying to understand how mosquitoes pump fluids, blood or nectar. And what was known is that mosquitoes use a mode that we call continuous, where the two pumps in the head, they reciprocate in close phase. In the course of our x-ray recordings, we discovered something completely different. So what we found is that occasionally, and we don't know why, but what will happen is that the animal will, will burst. So instead of these, these small little pumps, you get a massive expansion of both pumps. The second pump expands to a volume that's about 19 times what it does in the, the other mode. Okay? It's a massive increase in volume. We were asking why would the animal do this? So what we did is we developed a mathematical model of the pumping, including the canal in front. The mathematical model that we developed is really critical to understanding the, the pumping system. Without it, all we had was observations. It enables us to have a mechanical understanding of the system. So it is a, it's a biological organism, but we can treat it like any other physical system. Why do you need two pumps rather than one? Well, from our model, it seems to be that having two pumps gives you flexibility in function. So you can pump continuously and efficiently, or you can use the burst mode and create a massive pressure drop that might help you to clear obstructions from the system. In the engineering world, there's a, there's a big need for pumping fluids at a small scale. What if you could insert something very small, you know, the size of the head of a, of a mosquito, which is, which is just a few millimeters, or even smaller, and deliver a drug right to that area. So this is one of the reasons why fundamental studies of science of these animals can be important for applications.